It's like anywhere else in Papua New Guinea, with over 800 different languages, but many say there is one common language that we all speak, rugby league. For every young man that roams the streets of Port Moresby, coming together in the name of rugby league is easy. But to register a team and finance the logistics of the game is a struggle that these lads go through. But despite the odds, a young emerging team called the Gilwe Tribes is a determined side doing what they can to raise funds to pay for their team's registration and knocking on every door for support until eventually the central business district systems came to their rescue. Today, uh, we have a 1,000 kina to present to you guys. So, uh, you know, almost 100% of you, you know, you are unemployed, you are students. And, uh, you know, 1,000 kina will at least help you in some way. Your transport bus way to and fro because you, you sleep all over Port Mosby. You know, scattered all over, so, you know, uh, that's where we can be able to help you. CBS General Manager Joe Alope Yoki has assured the team that his company will fully sponsor the team next year with fully kitted uniforms for the team to continue playing in the NCD suburban rugby league competition. CBS will sponsor you guys for your full sets of uniforms. Okay. So we will get uh, A grade, B grade, you got two grades, yes. okay, so two grades, we will get full sets of uniforms, we will uh, print their names, socks, JJ Sportswear, everything will sponsor you next year for full sets of uniforms that we will have CBS for sponsoring. But Mr. Yoke gave a stand talk to the boys on zero tolerance of violence. On the playing field, we'll see the CBS withdraw its support from the team. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.